today's lesson is Gina Rodriguez, actress, activist, and philanthropist. We're back with Gina Rodriguez. I'm Mike, and I'm Kiki, and we're going to be learning more about this very talented actress. You might know her as Jane the Virgin. As we learned yesterday, that was her big break, her starring role on a television show that really got her well known, made her a household name in show business. But she started off like many people as a young kid with talent and passion. She was doing dance classes at seven years old, and then she got into some really Good school programs at both 16 at Columbia, and later went to the Tisch School of Arts in New York, and then it was on to Law and Order, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. And the Bold and the Beautiful. The as Bold well. and the Beautiful. That's yeah, right. two very famous, long-running <laughs> shows, both very good for young, talented actors. Okay, so yesterday we learned a little bit about how she got to where she is as an actor. Today we're going to find out more about her activism and her philanthropy. Oh, cool. All right, so let's listen to part one of today's article. Since her success in Jane the Virgin, Rodriguez has continued to delight audiences with her diverse roles in television and film. This has included starring roles in major Hollywood releases like Deepwater Horizon and Annihilation as well as voiceover work for animated children's films like Ferdinand and Scoob. Hello. Animated movies aren't just for kids. Many adults enjoy watching them too. 动画电影不仅适合孩子们, 许多成年人也喜欢观看。又或者说, the government created a series of animated shorts to teach children good hygiene. All right, let's talk about part one. Since her success in Jane the Virgin, Rodriguez has continued to delight audiences with her diverse roles in television and film. Okay, so since she started to act in Jane the Virgin, we know that she won a Golden Globe for that. She was very successful. And because of that, she continued to delight audiences. So she continued to improve press audiences. Okay, so here we have the word delight. Okay, when something is delightful, you're making people happy, you're making people feel joy. Okay, it's something really nice. Okay, so to be a delight to audiences, that means the audiences really enjoy seeing Gina on TV, yeah. seeing the different roles that she plays. Mm. And because of her diverse acting skills, mm -hmm. she's able to do a lot of different types of roles, hmm. serious roles, funny roles. So she's really impressive to the audience. Yeah, she's entertaining and impressing at the same time. And if you find that this actor or actress is delighting you, you'll probably look for the next job or the next project that they're in. You're like, oh, I like that person. I saw them in this movie. They're in a different type of movie, but I think they're good. I'll go watch it. And different types of movies, that does kind of seem like something that Gina Rodriguez has been trying to do, you know, different types of shows, different types of acting, playing different types of characters. This has included starring roles in major Hollywood releases like Deepwater Horizon and Annihilation, as well as voiceover work for animated children's films like Ferdinand and Scoob. Yeah, that's quite a variety there. So big Hollywood releases, big Hollywood movies. A release is just a movie that comes out. Different studios will have 20 to 30 different releases each year, new movies that come out. Deepwater Horizon, about that oil rig disaster so that would be kind of a drama action drama as well as voiceover work so she's doing just acting with her voice in animated children's films like Ferdinand and Scoob right voiceover work kind of like how Tom Hanks did voiceover work in the Toy Story movies that type of thing so these are cartoons animated children's films when you see animated film or something like that that is basically a cartoon they take a lot of pictures they film them together really quickly and it looks like the pictures are moving cartoon 
cartoons, animation, anime, same kind of thing. Ferdinand and Scoob were ones, though you might not know it's her, but if you listen carefully, certain characters, that's her voice playing that character. And that would be comedy, right? That would be more of a fun type of thing. So you need the ability to both entertain people by being scared and exciting in these action movies, as well as entertaining kids by having a fun and interesting voice in some of these animated films. That's very, very cool. That's right. So she has really shown her diversity and where all that skill Mm. from her younger days came from, right? So we can see her in all sorts of different productions, okay? So let's listen to part two to find out more about her activism. However, Rodriguez's passions go beyond acting, and she's also become well-known as an activist and philanthropist. A fierce supporter of Hispanic and women's rights, Rodriguez has consistently sought to raise awareness of the insufficient representation of minorities in the entertainment industry, while also devoting herself to everything from anti-bullying campaigns to disaster relief. In 2017, for example, she performed along with dozens of other artists on the song Almost Like Praying. Written by Broadway star Lin-Manuel Miranda, The song was released to support relief efforts in response to the terrible destruction caused by Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. Go beyond 表示超越点点点,超乎或是不只是的意思。举例来说, The benefits of a cell phone go beyond convenience. People feel safer when they have one. 手机的好处不仅限于便利性,拥有它们会让人们觉得更有安全感。又或者说, My love of music goes beyond enjoying it. I also love to sing and play musical instruments. 我对音乐的爱好不仅止于欣赏而已,我也喜欢唱歌与弹奏乐器。再来我们看到副词, consistently, 它的意思是一贯的,始终如一的,或是持续坚持的。例如, Ethan consistently maintained high grades throughout high school. Ethan在整个高中期间成绩一直保持着高分。或者, Lisa consistently shows up for work early, and that is how she gets so much work done. Lisa总是提前上班,这就是为什么她能完成大量工作。下一个是 destruction,这个名词的意思是破坏或是毁灭。例如, The destruction caused by the tropical storm was reported internationally. 这场热带风暴造成的破坏被国际媒体报道。或是, The movie, which is about the world's destruction, has amazing special effects. 那不管于世界毁灭的电影特效很棒。All right, let's talk about part two. However, Rodriguez's passions go beyond acting. So she's not just focused on her acting. She wants to do more, okay? And she's also become well-known as an activist and philanthropist. Okay, so not only is she an actor, she has become well-known. She's known to be an activist and a philanthropist. She's known to do all these different things to be a voice of different groups of people. So what kinds of activism did she get into? That's a great question, and we learn much more about it in this next part of our article. A fierce supporter of Hispanic and women's rights, Rodriguez has consistently sought to raise awareness of the insufficient representation of minorities in the entertainment industry, while also devoting herself to everything from anti-bullying campaigns to disaster relief. So she takes great pride in being both a Hispanic and female performer. So being Hispanic, that is also talking about being a Latina, a word that we saw yesterday. She comes from a Spanish background, that her parents were born in Puerto Rico. So she's interested in that and getting more kids with that kind of background from Spanish speaking and Latin backgrounds into entertainment and more women into entertainment, not just as actresses, but probably also as behind the camera roles, directors and producers and things like that, writers as well. So she's interested in all of that kind of stuff. And she is consistent 
consistently sought to raise awareness of the insufficient representation of minorities in the entertainment industry. So when you do something consistently, you do it regularly, you don't take breaks, you're not kind of into it for a little while, kind of as a fashion or a trend. No, it's part of who she is, I guess you could say. And she's also devoted herself to everything from anti-bullying campaigns to disaster relief. Well, if you're going to do something like this consistently, you are also going to be devoting part of your life to it, aren't you? Right. We can see that her activism isn't only focused on the entertainment industry, yeah. right? We can see that her activism goes beyond that. It goes to helping other people. So devoting herself or giving her time and energy, that's what devoting means. When you devote something, you want to give your time and give your help to people. You are focusing on helping others. Mm. And she's devoting herself to other types of situations or other types of campaigns like anti-bullying mm. and disaster relief. Okay, cool. so these are things that are not just entertainment related. Mm. These are things that can be related to everyday people. You don't have to be an actor to experience bullying, right? So, for example, anti-bullying is, of course, we want to try to raise awareness to stop people from bullying others. We want people to be nice to everybody, right? And bullying happens at school or even at the workplace. So there are lots of anti-bullying campaigns. Okay, so what is a campaign. A campaign is basically a type of promotion or an awareness to really bring a message to the public. Okay, so there are lots of different campaigns. We can have these positive message campaigns, but also during elections, politicians mm. go on campaigns too. That's right. They're basically trying to tell people, okay, this is what I'm about and why you should vote for me. And that's just like a anti-bullying mm. campaign. You're telling people about what anti-bullying means and why you should support the cause. There you go. It's a big organized effort, including a lot of people, many times working for free, right? Volunteering to help out. They have a goal. We want to get bullying down. We want to get this guy elected. We want an advertising campaign. We're going to have posters and TV ads and internet YouTube ads and we're going to tell you about our new product and also a military campaign when an army organizes and says we're going to go over there and attack that place and take over. So a campaign is kind of a project involving a lot of people with a goal, with an end result that they're trying to achieve. In this case, it's a good end result trying to get bullying done and also maybe a campaign to raise money for disaster relief because yeah, back in a few years years ago, I think we're going to learn about it, right? A big, was it Hurricane Maria or something like that? It hit Puerto Rico and just devastated the island. So that would be a campaign to raise millions or billions of dollars to help to rebuild the island and help the people there. And that's what she was doing. It says in 2017, for example, she performed along with dozens of other artists on the song Almost Like Praying. So there you go. She contributed or devoted some of her time, dedicated some of her time to helping out with this song, Almost Like Praying, and they certainly had the help of a well-known performer written by Broadway star Lin-Manuel Miranda. The song was released to support relief efforts in response to the terrible destruction caused by Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, another good cause that she was working for. Right. And here we have the word destruction, mm. okay? When something is destructed, it is when something has been destroyed when things are being broken down. When we think of construction, we're thinking about building something, but when you're destructing something, you're destroying something or you're breaking something down. In this case, when the hurricane hit, of course, a lot of houses, buildings, shops, they were all destroyed. And so they needed a lot of support yeah. relief. So they needed a lot of help, maybe money, sometimes medical aid, oh, yeah. all sorts of different help. And when they wrote this song and performed this song, they hoped that the song can not only help 
Puerto Ricans feel mm-hmm. that support sure. from all these people, yep. but the song could also raise awareness to people yeah. so that they could try to find their way of helping out, either donating money or mm-hmm. donating goods. Yeah, I'm sure all the money from people downloading or buying the song, all of that money went to the charities and the different groups helping to rebuild Puerto Rico. I mean, they lost power, they lost water, you know, whole neighborhoods and towns were just wiped out. So they needed a lot of help, and she was more than happy to pitch in, contribute to that campaign to help to rebuild Puerto Rico. All right, we're going to take a break, but then we're going to listen to the third part of our article. By making good use of her platform to address important social issues, Rodriguez exemplifies the spirit of compassion and generosity. With her strong commitment to both acting and making a difference, Rodriguez is not only a great role model for aspiring actors, but also a true force for good in the world. The second part of the compassion, when people are struggling, it's important to treat them with compassion. Susan's compassion for animals led to her becoming a vegetarian. Susan generosity. Even though Eva is very poor, she is well known for her generosity. Laura showed her generosity when she gave a large amount of money to the children's hospital. Lara commitment. Joe is afraid of commitment and has therefore never been in a serious relationship. Mary works hard to show her commitment to the company. Mary Okay, by making good use of her platform to address important social issues, Rodriguez exemplifies the spirit of compassion and generosity. Okay, so we know that she has become really famous. She's beloved around America and even internationally, she's well known. And because she is famous, she has a good platform. So when somebody is famous, you have a platform and a good voice to do something. So she is making good use of her platform or she's making good use of her fame. Okay. So when you're making good use of of something, you're really using that fame of yours to try to get attention from other people for certain reasons. Okay, so in this case, we talk about the support relief for the Hurricane Maria. So she's making good use of her platform. And she's using her platform to address important social issues. Like we talked about women's rights and Hispanic rights to have more representation in the entertainment industry. So those are some social issues. And of course, anti-bullying is a social issue. So she's used her voice to talk about all these things. Yes, indeed. Rodriguez exemplifies the spirit of compassion and generosity, it says in the second part of that sentence. Yeah, she's a perfect example of something. To exemplify something is to sort of be a perfect example of it, a really good version of that. That's the kind of ideal or the model that we all would like to be. So she's a really good example of a celebrity who's using her fame to talk about, to bring attention to important issues. And this shows her spirit of compassion and generosity, right? She cares about people. If you care about people and you really want to help them and when they hurt, it hurts you too, even though it doesn't affect your life directly, then you have compassion. If you want to be a a nurse or a doctor or a teacher or a charity worker, you have compassion. You want to help people who need help. And she has 
generosity too. She's giving up both her money, I'm sure, but also her time. So she's being very generous both with her time, money, and her fame. With her strong commitment to both acting and making a difference, Rodriguez is not only a great role model for aspiring actors, but also a true force for good in the world. So she has a strong commitment, a strong dedication to both acting and making a difference and helping other people improving the world. A commitment is when you give over something you devote or dedicate something. If you get married, you're making a commitment to another person to love and to take care of that person for the rest of your lives. So she's doing that with her charity work and with her career as an actor. Rodriguez is not only a great role model, a great example or someone to look up to for aspiring actors, but also a true force for good in the world. She's doing good things with her time, her fame, her money. And yeah, she's a role model for aspiring actors, a young girl, maybe like young Gina when she was seven, when she was starting off her dance classes there. If you're an aspiring actor, that's what you want to be in the future. You haven't achieved that, but that's your goal. That's your dream. That's your hope. That is what you are working towards. And I think we can all aspire to be a little bit more like Gina Rodriguez and help out other people, even if it doesn't affect you, it affects them and helping them can only do good in the world. All right, we're going to go over to Hanny and then we'll be back with a little bit of a question to talk about. Since her success in Jane the Virgin, Rodriguez has continued to delight audiences with her diverse roles in television and film. Since可以当接系词或连接词来表达自从什么什么以来。当接系词的时候,后面就是接发生在过去的时间点。表达，表达说事情从那时起就已经持续一段时间了。像课文里面，他用到“since her success in Jane the Virgin”，这是用“since”当介系词后面接过去的时间点。那主要子句的动词，他就用了现在完成式 has continued 来表达。好，那我们也来造一个例句。Tina has been doing her homework since she got home from school. Tina 从放学回到家后就一直在写功课。那这时候句子里面的since后面是接子句,所以它是连接词嘛。那主要子句的动词我们用到了现在完成进行式 has been doing去表达。那我们这边有顺便补充一下现在完成式跟现在完成进行式。现在完成式它的形式是 have加上过去分词pp 那这个时态是用来表达某个动作或状态到现在为止已持续或存在一段时间了那至于现在完成进行式它的形式则是 have been加上ving 这是表达说某个动作或状态从过去开始一直持续到现在还没有结束哦强调仍然持续进行中也就是一直在做某事的那种意思 好，那这两个时态呢，都可以搭配我们刚刚说的since加上过去某个时间点或过去式子句，那也可以去搭配for加一段时间。例如， they have known each other for a long time。他们认识彼此很久了。那这就是用现在完成式去搭配这个for加一段时间。Jenny has been reading the novel for hours. Jenny一直在看那本小说，已经看好几个小时了。那这边就是用现在完成进行式去。搭配for加一段时间 make a difference 去表达有重要影响产生改变那常常用来指好的正向的改变影响 big, a lot of much, little, small, no 等等来形容影响的程度 举例来说, The rain made very little difference to us 下雨对我们几乎没有什么影响 那再看个例句是, Sometimes a little help can make a big difference 有时候小小的帮助可以造成大大的影响 好,那以上的今天重点整理 我们回顾今天单字吧 Delight 
When he performed at the birthday party, the magician delighted the children with his wonderful tricks. Consistently. The team's consistently high level of effort throughout the season was key to their success. Devote. Professor Hughes has been devoting her weekends to writing a book. Campaign. The advertising campaign for the new sports drink features a famous baseball player. Destruction. Because the earthquake was relatively weak, it didn't cause significant destruction. Compassion. Jane's compassion for others led her to volunteer at the local homeless shelter. Generosity. Mrs. Smith's generosity towards charitable causes has positively impacted many in need. Commitment. Martin has shown great commitment to his studies by spending hours on homework every day. Discussion starter starts now! All right, today's discussion starter, Mike. Yes. If you were a famous actor like Gina Rodriguez, okay. what social issue would you dedicate some of your time to addressing and why? I don't know. I think the anti-bullying thing is really good. I think all of us were bullied at different times when we were young, and I don't see a lot of stuff out there. I mean, I see people talking about anti-bullying, but I don't see people actually addressing it. So I think that would be good. So I think I'd dedicate my time to anti-bullying campaigns because bullying can affect kids not only when they're kids, but also for the rest of their lives. And I think it's something that uh, more people, more groups, society in general needs to pay attention to and to improve, to do better on. Right, I agree on that and I want to build on that. I think a social issue I would spend time on is how to get young people and how to get people to really communicate better and respect each other more, yeah. not just bullying, right. you know, like daily conversations. Mm -hmm. How do you mm -hmm. interact with people better, politely, and right. have that compassion and mm. empathy? I think we're really lacking that in our society True. now. More and more social media just makes people angry all the time, right. but we need to stop and listen and try to understand each other better. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program, and please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Mike. I am Kiki. See, See you, you next, next time. time.